How to say thank you in Korean. So there are several levels of formality in the Korean language. These levels are reflected in Korean culture. The first and the famous expression for saying thank you in Korean is 감사합니다. 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 This is the formal language version of thank you. It comes from the Korean verbs 감사하다, 감사하다, which means to thank. The word 감사 is a noun that means gratitude or appreciation in the Korean language. The 합니다 part means to do. So if we put them together, we get 감사합니다. That means to do thanks. Example. 시간 내 주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. 시간 is time. 내 주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. Thank you very much for your time. 시간 내 주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. The next sample is 도와주셔서 감사합니다. 도와주셔서 감사합니다. Thank you for helping me. The next sample is 염려해 주셔서 감사합니다. 염려해 주셔서 감사합니다. Thank you for your concern. Now, the next expression is the same. Like, it's also saying thank you, but it is 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다 is one of the most common ways to say thank you in Korean and can be used in the same situations like 감사합니다. Example, 그렇게 말씀해 주시니 고맙습니다. 그렇게 말씀해 주시니 고맙습니다. 그렇게 말씀해 주시니 고맙습니다. Thank you for saying so. Next, 메시지 보내주셔서 고맙습니다. 메시지 보내주셔서 고맙습니다. 메시지 보내주셔서 감, 고맙습니다. Thank you for the message. Now, if you're close to somebody and they're close in age to you, then you can say, 고마워요. If the person you're talking to is not that old, or you are with the same age, you can express yourself and express thanks to them by saying, 고마워요, using standard language. This phrase, 고맙습니다, comes from 고맙다, which means to give thanks. Therefore, this version of thank you in Korean is the same as 고맙습니다. 고마워요 is still polite, but it's conjugated differently, so it's a bit less formal. 고마워요 can be used to everyone in a friendlier way. This is more respectful than 고마워. 고맙습니다 can be used to everyone, and it makes you sound more polite and res respectful, and like that means you can use kumasamida with everyone. Friends, family, co-workers, etc. So Kumasamida is also a pure Korean word, so you often hear newscasters using this blood expression instead of kumasamida. For example, Tongmal Kumao or I mean Tongmal Kumao in formal way. That means thank you so much. 알려주셔서 고마워요. Thank you for letting me know. 고마워 is just for someone who's definitely younger than you or to kids. You might say 고마워 to somebody who are very close to you or who is the same age or younger than you. This is a good way to thank people who are close friends or siblings. This is an informal and less polite way of saying thank you in Korean. It is also similar to saying thanks in English. Example, 난 괜찮아, 고마워. I'm okay, thanks. 
난 괜찮아 고마워 선물을 사줘서 고마워 선물을 사줘서 고마워 Thank you for buying me a present But 감사합니다 is used for a more formal occasion than 고맙습니다 So if you want to sound polite you better use 감사합니다 There are many ways to say this Two of the common ways are 대단히 감사합니다 대단히 감사합니다 and 정말 고마워요 정말 고마워요 The phrase 대단히 감사합니다 uses more formal language unlike the phrase 정말 고마워요 It is used when less formal language is required You can say also thank you which is similar to thank you in English That's yeah, that's thank you. If you're texting, you can write kia or siya, which is short hand for 감사합니다. So there are still more ways to say thank you in Korean, like this. 대단히 감사합니다. We're very likely to hear this formal language version of thank you in Korean during announcements, such as an announcement on the subway. And we already learned 감사합니다 earlier, which is a formal version of thank you. Now, the word 대단히, 대단히 means very much in English. If you put them together, it means thank you very much. You can use this phrase in formal situations such as when you're giving a speech or a presentation. Next, 진심으로 감사드립니다. 진심으로 감사드립니다. 진심으로 감사드립니다. The word 진심 here means sincerely in English. If you want to up your thank you game in a language, then this is a phrase you will want to add to your sentence. Next, 정말 고마워요. 정말 Heart means really or truly, so it's like saying thank you, truly in English. You can say this, thank you in Korean version with 감사합니다, 고맙습니다, as well. Use this version when you want to express a sincere, heartfelt thanks. Next, 생각해 주셔서 감사합니다. 생각해 주셔서 감사합니다. This thank you in current phrase means thank you for your consideration. It uses the word sengak thought and the verb juda to give before kamsamida. Not only in this not only is this an expression that you can use in many situations, but it's also an excellent way to learn some new Korean grammar and sentence structures. Next. 함께 해 주셔서 감사합니다. 함께 해 주셔서 감사합니다. This means thank you for joining us in English. 함께 means together. 주다 means to give. And is used along with 감사합니다 at the end. So if we put them together. 함께 해 주셔서 감사합니다. Next, 선물 감사합니다. 선물 주셔서 감사합니다. Rather, this expression means thank you for the gift. The word before 감사합니다 is 선물. 선물 which means gift. 관심을 가져주셔서 고맙습니다. 관심을 가져주셔서 고맙습니다. 관심을 가져주셔서 고맙습니다. This means thank you for your interest in English. It uses the two verbs "주다," which means to give, and "가지다," which means to have or carry, along with 관심, which means interest. And you can also use 감사합니다 in place of 고맙습니다. So, put them together, that will be 관심을 가져주셔서 고맙습니다. Next, 다시 전화 주셔서 고맙습니다. 다시 전화 주셔서 고맙습니다. This means thanks for calling back in English. 
you can use this expression on the phone, but make sure you know the correct way to say hello on the phone. And it is different than the phrases you'd use to say hello in person. Dashi means again. Next. Wa jushaso kamsanida. Wa jushaso kamsanida. Wa jushaso kamsanida. Wa jushaso kamsanida. I can say this version of thank you in Korean to express thank you for coming. And you might use this verse to thank a friend for coming to get uh, together or thank a colleague for attending an event. Next, 어떻게 감사를 드려야 모르겠네요. 어떻게 감사를 드려야 할지 모르겠네요. This means I don't know how to thank you. 어떻게 감사를 드려야 할지 모르겠네요. This means I don't know how to thank you in English. It's a formal way of saying thank you and ends in an exclamation point. Responses to thank you in Korean, like there are a variety of ways that you can respond to someone when they say thank you to you. Learning them will be useful so you can give a polite reply. So let's go through a few. Like, 아니에요. This is a way of saying you're welcome. 아니에요. You should stretch it out in an elongated way to make it extra tight. The phrase comes from the word 아니다, which means no. It's similar to saying it was nothing. Don't mention it in English. 아니에요. 아니에요. Next is 전만이에요. 전만이에요. This is the equivalent way of saying don't mention it. If someone says thank you, you can respond with 전만이에요. Or 별말씀을요. 별말씀을요. This is another way of saying don't mention it. You can respond to a thank you in a more formal way of saying 별말씀을요. Alright, so that's it. So I hope you have learned something from me guys today. So if you like this lesson, please visit our page on Facebook. It's Korean language and lifestyle. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Share it to your friends. And subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. So I'll see you again. Bye!